We're looking at another level 2 functional skills exam question and for this one there's a lot of information that we have to sift through to work out what it is we actually need to do. So let's have a read through. Alexa works for a property company. The company has nine cars. Alexa needs to work out the total CO2 emissions for the company cars. She has to give the figure to one decimal place. I'm going to underline that because that would be easy to forget about, but that's important. The emissions for each car are 150 grams per kilometre. The company cars have a mean mileage of 12,000 miles per year. Alexa knows that 12,000 miles uh, is 19,200 kilometres and that 1,000 kilograms is a tonne. Work out the total CO2 emissions from the company cars. Okay, there are different ways of doing this. Uh, I think one nice way would be to work out the emissions for each car. Uh, yeah, yeah, trust me, that's a car. Car. Okay, so each car, and there are nine of them, so we'll times by nine at the end, but let's just do it for one car first. So each car does 12,000 miles, and it tells us here, quite helpfully, that 12,000 miles uh, miles is the same as 19,200 kilometers. Uh, for each kilometer, it burns 100. It, sorry, the emissions are 150 grams per kilometer. So for each one of these kilometers, the emissions are 150 grams. So the emissions for each car are 19,200 the number of kilometers times the emissions per kilometer. So let's put that into our calculator. We're doing 19,200, the number of kilometers, times by the emissions per kilometer. Okay, so this huge number, uh, which I'm going to copy to my working out box, this huge number is the emissions per car, which equals 288. How many zeros is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, I think. So each car, the emissions are 2,880,000 uh, grams of CO2. But we don't just have the emissions per car, we need the emissions for all the cars, and there are 9 of them in the company. So I take this figure and times it by 9. I'm going to copy this to the working out box as well. Uh, so this, this huge number are the total emissions in grams, I'm going to put G there for grams, lowercase g, those are the emissions for the entire fleet, for the enti for the company's entire, or all of the cars, all the cars for the company. Right, we need to work out the total CO2 emissions, done, for the company cars for the year. Give your answer in tons. So we're not quite finished yet. This is in grams, and we need to put it into tons. But the awkward thing is, they've only told us how many kilograms are in a ton. So if we can get from this to kilograms, we can then use this to go from kilograms to tons. Well, key bit of information, is that 1,000 kilograms, sorry, 1,000 grams is one kilogram. So how many thousand grams are in here? Because that's also how many kilograms are in it. Well, to find out how many thousand grams are in this, I divide it by 1,000. I'm looking for how many thousands go into this huge number, and the answer is this. So that's uh, 25,920. So if I copy that in, I've gone from grams now into kilograms. Sorry, that should still be a lowercase g. It's not very important. Uh, so 25,920 kilograms, those are the total emissions. And I can do the same again to go from the kilograms, which I've got, into tons. And again, I'm looking for how many thousands go into this huge, this still very big number, because that's how many tons go into this big number as well. So I'm going to divide it by another thousand and that comes to this figure, uh, 25.92 tons. Okay, let's just check if we're finished or if there's more maths for us to do. Work out the total CO2 emissions for the company cars for the year. We did that up here. Give your answer in tons, we've done that now, to one decimal place. Okay, one final thing. At the moment, this has got one, oops, it's got one, two decimal places. We need to give it to one decimal place. So it's either going to be 25.9 or the 9 is going to round up. And as you remember, it's this number here that determines whether the 9 gets pushed up or not. And because 2 is quite a low number, this 9 stays the same. So this rounded to one decimal place is 25.9, which we can now put in our answer box. 
Uh, total CO2 emissions for the company cars, 25.9 tonnes. Good. Show a check of your working. They're not quite finished with us yet. There's still one more thing for us to do. Uh, let me just get rid of this. There's one more thing for us to do, which is to check. To do a check of your working, the easiest way I find is to do a reverse calculation where you pick something that you've done um, and do it backwards to try and see if the, if the numbers uh, fit. So I'm going to make myself a separate space for my check. Um, I'm going to pick uh, this line, this, this calculation that I did, because I think it was the, the most straightforward, it was the easiest, the, the numbers are quite low. Um, and I'm going to do something in reverse. So I'm going to take my end answer, which was this big figure. It was 2, 8, 8, uh, and 4 zeros. So I'm starting with my answer. Instead of doing a times, I'm going to do a divide, because it's a reverse. And if I divide it by, for example, 150, my answer should be this number, if I've done my, if I've done my calculations right. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to divide by 150, and if this is all correct, my answer should be 19,200, which it is. Oh, sorry, my mouse is... Uh, I, I want to put this into my working out box, but it's gone into the wrong place. So I'm going to delete that, put my cursor down here, and press the copy to working out box again. There we go. Okay, so I've checked this first bit of my working out, and I've decided it was correct. I've shown a check of my working, and I've made it really clear for the examiner so that they're going to give me those marks. Uh, which they will. This answer has got four marks for all the working out in here and our final answer and the extra mark for checking our answer as well. So that's it. We're done for four marks. Five with the check. All good.